I was arrested in July 1991 on the state conspiracy charge for selling acid, and the case went federal, and I signed the plea bargain. Once I decided, you know, that I was going to flee, my plan was to establish a different identity and basically get the fuck out of Virginia. Back then, they had these companies called uh, Loom Panics Unlimited and Paladin Press. They sold books like the Anarchist Cookbook, and they had all these books on fake IDs. The first thing I did when I got out, I read about 25 or 30 of these books, you know, and then kind of formed my own plan. So once I figured out I could establish a different identity, a legit identity through birth and death records and the DMV, I was like, what is the best way to make it so they won't look for me? You know, it just kind of came to me, I'm gonna stage my suicide, I'm gonna make myself dead so Seth Ferrante doesn't exist and then all this will go away. I remember reading the Washington Post, people commit suicide at Great Falls National Park. In this one section in, in Great Falls, it's like class five rapids. I spent, you know, like a couple weeks planning and plotting this. I would floss my teeth like really, really hard so my gums bled. And then I would take like my clothes or the shirts that I was gonna throw in the water and I would put my blood on it because I figured, you know, if they didn't find a body, if they found the clothes and they found my blood on it, that would give them my DNA so they could identify who I was. I drove into Great Falls National Park in October of 1991, parked my car there. I had a suicide note in my car. I felt numb, I felt gray, but at the same time, I had hope that I could escape this tragic and awful predicament that I found myself in at the age of 20 years old. I walked to the cliff's edge off the path, and I looked over to the raging, you know, rapids below, and I actually imagined myself, you know, jumping in, you know, getting smashed on the rocks and, and drowning, you know, and, and committing suicide. I took some boots, a pair of pants, and a shirt, and I, I threw it in the water. I left my wallet, my cigarettes, a bottle of vodka, you know, some marijuana, and my jacket right there. I made it seem like I was sitting there, and then I jumped in the water. That was the scene that I was trying to set up. It was almost kind of like a, you know, a release. I got a knock on my door, and it was the US Marshals. They told me Seth didn't show up for his sentencing. And we found a suicide note. At that point, my heart dropped. I was just kind of numb. Like, oh no, he, he, he broke. This is awful. That lasted about 10 seconds, and then I said to myself, fuck no. He is totally on the run. He would never commit suicide. <laughs>